Welcome back to Get Down to Business, the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. I'm ex- I've am i been excited for this conversation. Adam Kahane joins me, and he is the author of a fantastic, his newest book, Facilitating Breakthrough, How to Remove Obstacles, Bridge Differences, and Move Forward Together. So collaboration is certainly hard even in the best of times, but we are living in a deeply polarized world, and it's become nearly impossible. According to uh, the Edelman Trust Barometer in 2021, more than half of Americans, a full 57%, believe the U.S. is in a cold civil war. So joining us to discuss, again, Adam Kahane. Adam, welcome to the program. Thank you, Shalom. Absolutely. It's a pleasure to have you. So your work has been praised by uh, Nobel Peace Prize winners Nelson Mandela and Juan Manuel Santos. And uh, you understand the thing or two about collaboration. Um, but let's get started with the basics. Adam, how did, you, uh, how did you develop your background in this space? Well, uh, quite by accident, uh, I studied physics and economics, used to work for big companies, and uh, 30 years ago, almost to the day, I got involved in facilitating a group in South Africa, uh, right in the middle of the transition to democracy. And it was a group that included all kinds of people that didn't agree with or like or trust each other, politicians, business people, uh, community activists. And my big discovery, which blew my mind, was that if you set things up right, it is possible uh, to work uh, in those groups and do creative and fun and influential work. And so that's what I've been doing ever since. Amazing. And um, I'm very passionate about uh, about collaboration. So I just want to go to the basics over here. And, and um, why would we ever want to work with somebody we don't trust or like or agree with? Essentially, it's collaborate with the enemy. Aren't there better ways of getting things done and just sort of staying in our silos, the people that, that, we, that we like and get along with? Well, I have a pragmatic approach to this. If you can get uh, where you're trying to go, just working with your friends and colleagues, uh, go for it. But increasingly often that doesn't work, even if we wish it would. And so we find we need a way to work with those other people, whether it's uh, in politics or in our community or in our organization. And so the question is, how can you do that successfully? <laughs> So in your book, you share several stories of opponents working together on tough and important issues. Tell us more about that and what made those breakthroughs possible. How is your approach any different? Uh, Well, I think uh, it's, it's important, the starting point of maybe I wish I didn't have to work with those people, but I think I have to. And so the starting point has to be let me at least try to understand where they're coming from. I may not agree with them. I may not see, see things the same way, but let me start by trying to understand why do they think the way they think? How can I move from starting every sentence with the, the truth is to uh, in my opinion? And, and if, if we can understand uh, why those other people are saying what they're saying, then maybe we can figure out a way uh, to move forward or find some spaces to move forward, even though we may never agree. Absolutely. And we're having this conversation in October of 2021 in an era where the world is becoming increasingly polarized on countless issues. So in what everyday settings could a person use your approach? Well, I think the obvious place is in uh, political or community conflict, but I'm equally interested in how this applies in everyday settings in organizations. How does uh, sales department work with production? How do I deal with my neighbor? Um, uh, And how do I avoid slipping from, I see things differently from them to they're wrong, to they're evil, to they're the devil. So I'm trying to find a way to de-escalate things from this increasingly common, uh, yeah, default to demonization. (laughs) 
Absolutely. Again, I'm chatting with Adam Kahane, who's the director of Rios Partners, an organization that helps people move forward together on their most important and intractable issues. And uh, I know, Adam, for 30 plus years, you've been facilitating teams of executives, politicians, philanthropists, generals, guerrillas, civil servants, trade unionists, community activists, clergy and artists in more than 50 countries in every part of the world. And uh, I know that your work and methods have been praised, including by Nobel Peace Prize winners Nelson Mandela and Juan Manuel Santos. Um, and you share some of those examples in the in your newest book, Facilitating Breakthroughs, How to Remove Obstacles, Bridge Differences, and Move Forward Together, which is what we are talking about uh, here today. So we've talked about how all of this is very applicable um, in uh, the world that we're in right now. So what's the one key idea that you hope readers take away from your book, which we'll be uh, giving uh, our listeners some uh, contact information on as well? Well, I guess the most important idea is that it is possible. Uh, I know it. I've seen it with my own eyes hundreds of times in uh, the most extreme settings in the world, including the Colombian Civil War, uh, uh, the work I did with, with Juan Manuel Santos. Um, and so if it's possible in Colombia, if it's possible in South Africa, uh, then it's possible in the ordinary settings that, that we deal with in our lives. And that the first step... The first step is uh, is is to to suspend our truth about about things are this way and to just be open to other ways of understanding what's going on and what can we do about what's going on. For sure. So suppose a person came to you, uh, Adam, and said, I need to get my team working together. We're just not making any progress. Where should they start? How can they... Uh, essentially make an impact uh, beginning this week? Well, I, I think the place to make a start is to realize I can try to force people to do what I want them to do. And sometimes that works. doesn't work very much for me. Uh, but if I'm not going to force them to do what I want them to do, uh, if I'm not going to use uh, rely solely on my authority, then, then I have to switch to the other mode, which is not bossing people around, but facilitating them. And uh, whether that's as a leader or a manager or as a peer, and 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 that requires uh, creating a a space where people can say how they see things and what they think should be done about the way things are, and and we figure that out together. But this default to bossing people around is so strong, especially in workplaces. I find it amazing that uh, everybody expects to be free persons on the street, but except to being serfs when they get to the office. And I think there's less and less tolerance for that, especially in the current moment of what some people are calling the great resignation. <laughs> very, very true. Um, so in your book, you talk about the need to employ love, power, and justice. Those are three words that don't always go together. So just very briefly, I want to understand what you mean by that. Well, I'm using the words in a very particular way, and I'm using them deliberately, but I'm saying you need to use all three. Love is the, the drive that everybody has to connect, not be isolated, be part of something bigger. Power is the drive everybody has to contribute, to achieve their agenda. It's not a bad thing. It's an absolutely necessary thing. Nothing in the world gets done without power. And justice is the drive that almost everybody has to be treated fairly and to be in a fair world where things are equitable. So I'm arguing if you don't employ all three, you're going to remain stuck or doing things on your own. And if you want to collaborate, you have to keep all three of those in mind. Love, power, justice, connection, contribution, equity. That's that's all you need. Well, that's some powerful stuff, again, from uh, Adam Kahane, the director of Rios Partners and the author of Facilitating Breakthrough, How to Remove Obstacles, Bridge Differences, and Move Forward Together. It just came out at the end of August, and it is a fantastic read, which, was, which is why I want our listeners to uh, pick up a copy. It will uh, certainly help you in business. Uh, personally, professionally, in so many different directions. And our our, uh, our world can use a dose of uh, collaboration. So Adam, we're just about out of time. How can people uh, pick up a copy of the book and uh, get in touch with you? Well, they can uh, pick up the copy book anywhere, I guess. And you can get in touch with me at riospartners.com, R-E-O-S partners, riospartners.com. And uh, I hope they find the book useful. 
Absolutely. Facilitating breakthrough, how to remove obstacles, bridge differences, and move forward together. It's a great read. Adam Kahane, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your insight with our listeners. We'll be sure to uh, to invite you back on to continue uh, the discussion about collaboration. And uh, be sure to check out our sponsors, uh, Tom Mirabali from Health Plan Chicago. Dot com and get on my website, shalomkline.com. That's where you can download the podcast from the past eight plus years of shows all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. And get on your favorite podcast app, subscribe, rate, review, and share. It makes it easier for people to find the show. Um, we're going to squeeze in a quick break, some headlines. We'll be right back uh, on the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. Don't touch that dial. <laughs> 